Okay, here we have a, a two inch double acting pneumatic uh, actuated ball valve with a POS D smart positioner. This is our digital version. To set these up, we have the, we've installed the positioner on top of the actuator with the brackets supplied. We have mounted the actuating arm with it facing the front at a 45 degree angle to the right, shown here. Uh, a good way to tell if you've set it up correctly that it should be uh, directly above one of the mount bolts here. All right, make sure that the actuator is in the closed position. Okay, the plumbing, to plumb our actuator up, we plumb up the out to output of the positioner to the left hand side port of the actuator. We plumb the out one port and that goes to the right hand side, side of the actuator. So when you supply air, which is the center port, the valve should go, which should stay in the closed position. Okay, uh, our next step is to initialize the positioner. Uh, after you've connected your air and your air is on, uh, we need to apply the signal, which will also supply the power to the unit. I've got my signal generator here. I'll turn that on. Okay, uh, we've powered up the unit. So we need this first, before we initialize, we need to check three parameters. The first one uh, is if it's a turn or linear uh, parameter, which is in program one. We hold down the AM button for three seconds to we see P1. Then you arrow down till you get to program uh, four, which is turn. Make sure that's turn. If it's linear, you need to change it to turn. So to do that, you just press AM button again once, and then you just arrow up till you select the turn. You hit AM button again, and that will save that. To get out of there, you just uh, arrow up till you get to the P1 again. The next uh, parameter we need to change is your, uh, your rise and fall parameters, which is in program two. Which is number nine, it says fall. Your unit might say rise, so you need to change it to fall. We do this to suit uh, our actuator. Press the AM button to save. Then we go back to P2. Then we move to P3. And it's parameter 38 that we need to, to change. Uh, at the moment it says 4, which is correct for our actuator. Yours might say rise, so you need to change that. Bring it back to P3. If you want to get out of the programming uh, mode, you just hold down AM button for three seconds, and that brings us back to our uh, starting position. Once that's done, we start the initialization. You hold all three buttons down for three seconds, and it'll start the, the process.
As you can see, the process takes about uh, a minute or so to do its operation. When the screen says ED, that means it finishes initialization. You can get out of, uh, out of it by holding down the AM button for more than three seconds. And that should uh, bring us back to our start. Now, now the actuator and positioner is uh, initialized. If I apply our first signal, which, which will be uh, for example, be 14 milliamps. It should turn and open the actuator to that to that value. If I give it a, a 12 milliamp signal, it should be approximately 50 uh, percent, which this, uh, which it says on the screen, and 100 percent will be. 20 milliamp and the valve should be fully open. And back to 4 milliamp and the valve is closed and it shows 0%.